Hi, I'm Janie Lawson and I'm a milliner. I run the Glam Hatters Tea Parties. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make hair accessories. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a feather hairpin. So we're going to be using 0.4mm wire, spiky goose feathers, hairpin crystals and crimp beads. So you can buy all of these individually or you can visit my website and buy a Glam Hatters kit and everything is included. So you need three of your wires and you need to cut them to be 30 centimetres long. And you go in through the top of the pin and you're halfway along the wire. Now you're going to wrap the wire around the top of the pin. There's one wrap, two and three wraps for each wire. So that's one on. So you've ended up with two spikes. And then all you do is you just spread out the wires into a spider shape. Okay, then I'm taking my crimp beads and I'm doing one at a time. I'm just gonna pop it onto the wire. And with my feathers, what we're going to do is we're going to make these into a nice swirl. The way you do it, get your scissors, not too sharp, probably use paper cutting scissors, they're a bit blunter, and then you see how I'm just pulling it along the flat side of the feather to make it swirl out, and I'll do all the feathers at the same time. So that's another one. And if they don't go in one go, just go back and just do little, little scrapes along. And then my second job with the feathers is just to cut diagonally at the bottom, just so that you're left with a little spike. And you need that because you need to fit them into the crimp beads, which then means I can fit them into the crimp beads. They're called crimp beads because you crimp them. So pop the feather into the crimp and you can see how I've just pushed it up a little bit so the point is coming through. And then I'm going to use flat nose pliers, which are completely flat here. There's no ridges or anything on them because you don't want to spoil the beads. And I crimp it so it's holding the, the feather in place. Now we have our feathers on and we've still got these spiky ends. So to sort that out and make them safe, what's really nice is to add a crystal onto the end. So I go down about three centimetres. I bend the wire back on itself and then I wrap the wire around the spike just below the crystal. There we go, and I'm going to fan them back out again. And that is a very quick and easy fascinator to wear to a wedding or a party. So that is how to make a feather fascinator.